I am James, brother to John. And thus I am the other son of thunder, as Jesus calls us, because of the thunderous energy between us. But we are different men now that we follow Jesus. That thunder is subsiding in our spirits. And we're a little more calm now. I have seen Jesus calm the storm with his hand. And even the water obeys him and becomes a, a solid place on which to walk. But the greatest storm I have ever seen him calm is a storm inside the human spirit caused by the power of evil let loose in this world. We had sailed to the country, the Gerasenes, which is across the Sea of Galilee. And we had barely stepped out of the boat when out of the tombs a madman possessed by demons raced toward us. But even the demons knew the power of Jesus, and they fell at his feet. Jesus! What are you doing here? Son of the Most High God, did you come to torment us before the time? Before God, I implore you, torment us not! What is your name? My name is Legion, for we are many. No! Do not cast us into the abyss! We beg you! Be gone, I command you. Go! No! in what seemed like an instant, and people came to see for themselves if Jesus truly had power over the evil spirits of this world. The man was restored to his right mind, and he begged to be allowed to go with Jesus. No. But Jesus answered him. No. Go home to your own kinsfolk. Tell them the things God has done for you, especially how he's pitied you. He quieted the madman! For years I have heard him wander in those tombs. Oh, I have heard him cry in the night. I have seen him wound himself. Oh, he's a sorcerer. He's a miracle worker. Oh, look, the man is at peace. Yes. His mind is made whole. Who is this Jesus? Even the spirits obey yes, him. He do. has power over the spirit world. Over the entire world, I believe. The man uses the power of Satan. This man is from God. The news of his power is spreading like a plague over the people. He is a devil. That is why the spirits of the devil obey him. But I have seen him raise the dead and restore the sight of the blind. He has healed even on the Sabbath. What an abomination to work on the Sabbath. What disobedience to the will of God. It won't be too much longer now. I know how to find him. We can all find him, but never when he is alone. I know of a way. Jesus restored the man's spirit and cast out the power of darkness. The testimony of this man, made whole again, was heard throughout all the Decapolis. He sang the praises of Jesus and declared all that had been done for him. We all sing his praises still. By just days before today, the streets were ablaze with hallelujahs and hosannas. But tonight, it is quiet. He is quiet. Strangely quiet. He told us that one of us would betray him. Well, it could not be me, not after seeing the dominion Jesus holds over the world of the Spirit. But he said it. And so I cannot help but ask, is it I? Uh -oh. 